Yeah, we're going to celebrate her because she's mastered God's purpose for her life with distinction. And the word is to give honor to whom honor is due. And before we shower her with the love that we've been holding in our hearts through months of planning and years of having her in this ear and keeping the enemy at bay, we want you to take a look at what God has done in her life. Tech, let me have the videotape, please. She is a Southern belle with angelic, powerful vocals that wows audiences all over the world with inspirational music. See, I was on the verge of breaking down. She touches you in a place where you believe everything she sings and you are uplifted. She's like the, the bridge from the traditional to the contemporary. Apart from being a, a fantastic artist, she was brought here to really teach and make a difference in the world. Thank God that he's blessed us with such an incredible talent, with such an incredible person. A native of Houston, Texas, Yolanda grew up in a religious and musical household. My first minister of music was my mother. Uh, and so at the age that, of four, that, she, that made me, <laughs> she made me sing and I loved it. She um, allowed me to do the auditions for the Southeast Inspirational Choir. I came to know Yolanda from her work as a teenager, and I heard her hit song, My Liberty, and it was just a, such an amazing song. Thomas Whitfield came to one of our uh, concerts. He was our special guest, and he said that he wanted to record me. Yolanda signed her first deal with the Sound of Gospel label and recorded Just As I Am in 1987. Then she got to through the storm, and you know, a lot of people say the sky's the limit. Yolanda's career reached new heights with award-winning follow-up albums. She can do jazz, she can do R&B, she can do gospel, she can do classical. You know, the natural ability that she has to be able to, to be a chameleon is, is unbelievable. My love has come along, but I know a change is gonna come. In search of a new record label, Yolanda met with music executive Sylvia Roan. She came up to the office and we just had this unusually long conversation. Um, we talked about music and life and what her vision was and what she was looking for. And then I went to see her later that evening at the Beacon. And I was blown away. When she signed with Sylvia Rome and Electra Records. And uh, yeah, the, I guess the rest is history. Yolanda recorded the groundbreaking Mountain High, Valley Low with Electra Records. We wanted to do an album that had a spiritual message, but also had a secular appeal and could reach a wider audience. We worked with uh, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, did three songs, including the single that was the big crossover single for her called Open My Heart. It really made the gospel community say, oh, okay, you can, you can still be commercial and still be gospel. Still to this day, when I hear Open My Heart, I just get chills because it takes me right back to that time when we were, you know, working on such an incredible piece of work. She got a Grammy. She got five NAACP awards, five Stellar awards, a Soul Train award. She got an AMA. This is the first time the Contemporary Inspirational Award has been presented. And Yolanda Adams being the first recipient. Yolanda trailed the mega success of Mountain High Valley Low with stellar follow-up albums. We want a Grammy. She called me, she said, uh, Greg, I ain't gonna be able to make it. Can you go down there and get the Grammy? And she said, I said, where you at? She said, I'm in the White House singing for the president. After the Day by Day album, I remember Yolanda, she had her business woman hat on. I can remember talking with her briefly about the clothing line and um, the radio show especially I remember. It's just incredible to see what she built 
from all those years of hard work. She has contributed life-changing music, first of all. I think as a woman, to watch her be so elegant and beautiful and well-spoken and well-educated, but still very anointed and powerful, she's a big inspiration. She's such a visionary, you know, and such a wise woman, beautiful wise woman, and um, I'm just really proud of her. I think that this is a very special award for her. And like I said, she has earned it. Yolanda Adams, I love you. I love you for all times. Dear sister, champion for the truth, she wrote for all seasons. On behalf of Essence President Michelle Ebanks and our editor-in-chief Vanessa K. Bush, it is an honor for us to present the 2014 Essence Gospel Tribute Award to you, one of the most extraordinary artists of our times. Church, please stand and show your love for our sister, Yolanda Adams. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is absolutely amazing.